Hello there, Vanagon Addicts. It is Ken Wilford here at Vanagon. Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our uh, LED lights that we have for the inner uh, headlight on the square headlight. So you can see here I've got a stock square headlight situation sitting here for like an 86 to 91 Vanagon. And you have this inner fog light or high beam or whatever you want to call it. It just comes on when you turn on the high beams only. And so we have been selling the uh, LED bulbs for the outer light for a long time. People asked us we want one for the inner. Um, we had one, we sold for a while, uh, but then we have a new version. So I don't think I ever did a video on how to install it. The uh, original ones we were selling were very similar to the halogen. So I just didn't bother doing a video, but the new ones are slightly different enough to, I guess, cause some confusion. So, um, let's, let me show you what's going on. So this is a stock one. I haven't done anything to it. How you get it off, you just give it a little turn. It actually has some instructions on the back of it to open it and close it and all this other stuff. Okay, so if in doubt, read that stuff and things. So when you open it up, you're gonna see what's happening in here. You've got a ground wire that's hooked to a terminal right here on the headlight housing itself. You have got a, another wire that's going up here. This one is the most trickiest one to unplug because it's usually like super duper stuck in there. Uh, my advice on it is to maybe use a pair of grips to grab the, the heft of this and you pull it out, okay? Uh, once you pull it out, I don't want to sit here and struggle with this on camera. It's going to look like this. So it's actually a spade, like a male spade, that you're pulling out of this uh, female spade thing up here. Okay. Then once you get that unhooked, you just squeeze these two wire pieces, and the bulb comes out. And you'll see on the bulb itself, there's a square indentation on one side and a rounded up here. That way, you can only put it in one certain way. Okay, so that's how you would basically remove the stock one. All right, let me show you this new LED one that we're selling now. You give it like a, just a quarter turn. Okay, it pops open. So this is the new one we have. I would say the only major difference is where it grounds. Okay, so it has the two spade connectors up here. One, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, which plugs into which. Um, if you have a problem with that, just let me know, but I think you can just plug it in either way. Just like, you know, because all you're trying to do is have a positive and a ground. Okay, if you plug it in one way, it doesn't work. Plug it in the other way, and it should work. But I think you can just do it either way. So one of these would go into this ground wire here. You basically would, this other ground spade that's on here, you just want to bend this back, and you can easily do it with your finger. So you have a little bit more room for the body of this. Uh, LED light and then the other one you would plug into this terminal up here uh, and that's pretty much it uh, let's switch one the butt of it is slightly bigger it sticks up a little bit but if you bend this tab out of the way uh, so that it can go through it just easily goes in there um, I will take it and I will take it out for you so you see that it goes right in there's no problems once you bend that tab out of the way it slides right in there and you can you just want to bend the tab out of the way enough so you can get those wire retainers. Okay. And this is what it looks like. It's got some nice big LEDs on it. It's got a nice big aluminum heat sink body on the back. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So, like I said, all you have to do is pay attention to which side is rounded, which side is square. Put it in there, seat it all the way. You'll see what I mean, you bend this tab up out of the way, and then you can flip your wire piece down, and kind of, like I said, this butt of it is a little bit fatter. Actually, the other one doesn't even have a butt, but believe me, it'll go around it here. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's basically all there is to it, guys. It's not rocket science, as I've always uh, often said in the past, apparently. One of these days I will have a rocket scientist come on here and say, you know, why do you keep... Uh... So once you get all this stuff hooked up... All right, let me not get on that road, Joe. 
you just put the, make sure these wires are kind of up in here a little bit recessed okay you'll see there's three plastic tabs on here and one is actually way wider than the other two if you look at the back of this thing you'll see this way wider one okay goes over here like so and so you just aim that towards it you kind of make this wire just kind of squirrel up in there and that's going to make it be kind of like on this angle right it's so hard to do this with one hand believe me so you just kind of make sure it seats on there good and then you just give it a little twisty poo and that's it so guys that's it for these inner lights you know once it's installed you can kind of see it in there um, and it should give you some really nice light on the road and uh, last for pretty much ever okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comments and uh we will see you guys on the next video